Uh, it is a story we have been following for the past three days. A Kansas City family in a desperate search of an army uniform for their loved one's burial. Eric Schultz shows us how our viewers got involved, and I think you'll like the ending. It started Monday with this family's plea for help. Brian High, known as Bebe, died suddenly last week and always wanted to be buried in his army dress uniform. But his was lost, and his sister Rita High had spent days searching in vain for another one. I just can't understand why it's so hard. Then a Fort Leavenworth Army wife saw our story and told her husband. And Tuesday, Major Bart Ranson bought the suit and made sure everything on it was correct. The family needed it by Wednesday. Thank you. Man, thank you, man. This is what he did. And this was the day two families came together, brought together by this infantry sergeant and the quest to give him a proper burial. Brian and I have a lot in common. Uh, we're both... Uh, uh, went through some basic training at Fort Knox, Kentucky. Uh, he went through as a, a cavalry scout. I went through uh, as an armor officer. And they both spent time as combat engineers. The day Brian died was the 20th anniversary of Ranson's enlistment. Ties discovered all because Kristen Ranson was paying attention. I actually read the article uh, on my phone uh, on the NBC Action app. And uh, Bart was downstairs studying. Studying for a leadership course. These families promise to stay in touch, knowing now there's finally closure. We just want to say thank you for putting my uncle to rest the way my uncle want to be rested. The way all soldiers want to be put to rest. Eric Schultz, NBC Action News. Wow, it almost makes you want to cry. Yeah. Visitation for Brian High is set for Friday with burial to follow at Fort Leavenworth. Good people out yeah, there. That's, that's a great. nice story. Really a nice yeah. Isn't that something? Very yeah, touching. You bet.